All right, guys. Axel up in here with Lip Packer Three. Alex on the phone. Uh, we're gonna start things off with the rap. So uh, let's get down to yeah, let's get down to it. I've been closed off from the world and no longer being able to make a stable surrounding. And it's astoundingly deceptive the way society uses correctional methods to maintain uh, my mental state. And I can contemplate fiction from reality. So keeping myself happy isn't an option. And that's what makes my list of choices minimized. Since I'm always criticized, I feel victimized through the symmetrical actions. I found my mind in factions, and everyone's scared. And that's a soul reaction. I'm the mastermind flying at. Play Height. So I'll write if I die tonight, the narrative would claim relevance over the death of a man. Based solely on color, we wonder why we live in a world so twisted. We can't see life so precious. It's highly recommended that we close up, we keep our eyes closed so they can have lies posed correctly. Directions are obeyed. So we're the slaves, we've dug our own graves and know better than the cavemen. Okay, what's next? There are procedures in order. Depression, medication, obedience, annihilation, devastation, extinction. And that's when no one will ever be offended all right guys so uh now with the dark shit all all right guys now uh that said alex you have the floor oh you have the floor brother what the fuck i'm still preparing to explain to them what i'm doing hold on Alex is about to do uh, like what 15 10 shots a whiskey well Axel packs a lip of whiskey so well uh, he's still preparing for that How do you feel right now? How do you feel? Uh, my is on fire. So, we're going to be doing a little discussion today on terrorism. Show the viewers at home how much we have left. You done yet? Yeah. Oh fuck. Actually just like what the fuck is going on? Dude, I'm so fucked. I'm gonna be so goddamn drunk. Alright, so I'm gonna be drunk for a second. And before you get fully drunk, let's uh do this video on terrorism. I think political correctness is terrorism. I'd agree with that. And if, for those of you who don't see it as terrorism that disagree with me on that, um, 
when you have countries so afraid of not of when you have countries afraid to say no to refugees just because they know that the terrorist groups are sneaking in with the refugees due to political correctness it's helping to spread terrorism now too what I mean by this is that Germany, France, Great Britain, Brussels they don't want to um, say no to these refugees because they're so afraid of being called racist you know um, when it's not about hating Muslims it's about protecting your country many people are very uh, un are very non open minded about this um you know where's the line you know we we tend not to draw lines anymore where does the line everybody kind of like if if it's uh racist uh, deemed racist or bigot from the left side um it's just it's dead shot down it's forgotten about and that is what's killing our country you know I don't hate immigrants also, you know but a point a point I'd like to make is that I feel all those black power people that are saying not just necessarily saying that black lives matter it's like the guy that's saying, you know, kill police and shit like that. Most people don't realize those are terrorists. But they're deemed heroes. And yet our own soldiers are suffering and no one wants to say that soldiers' lives matter, that veterans matter. You know, it's all about black people and other races being put down. <sighs> Muslims hate Jews. We all got a little Jew in us. Somewhere down the line, some of our ancestors fucked around with Jews. So. My head's, my head's spinning hardcore. That's nice. You shouldn't have drank all that whiskey. Get it for the views. Oh, fuck. Um, anyways, yeah, terrorism, terrorism is bad. Don't do it. Okay then. That's how you know he's starting to get drunk. That's how you know he's drunk. Anyway, guys. So when kids watching out there, you know I'm of legal age, don't drink, drink is bad, blah 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 blah. Dude, me and Tony at 16 were drinking in front of a fucking elementary school on the channel during the Super Bowl. Fuck you mean we don't. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that. I remember that. Pre-game, dip, and drink. It was right before Tony's birthday and it was on Super Bowl Sunday. Fucking, we went out and got yeah. nips. And fucking, we got a bottle after. And it was a fucking awesome... The Flake Gate, dude. The Flake Gate. <laughs> Fucking Bill Belichick. I'm a Bostonian, but uh, even I know this The Flake Gate was just bullshit. And I'm not saying this through a biased view. Like, if I actually thought that they had cheated, but no, it was just mad that we kicked ass. Sorry. I also love the Dallas Cowboys and the cheerleaders, so. Oh, a uh, little friendly reminder. Tomorrow's 420. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna get drunk tomorrow. 
And all you spot losers, light up your joints tomorrow. I know I will. I'm just getting drunk. Oh, I'm getting out of hell. I'm actually going to my state's capital city tomorrow just to pick up bud. Oh yeah, just release that on the internet, you know? Huh? Just release that to the internet. Nobody cares. Eh. Cops still try. I think we need to end the war on drugs, too. That's just a whole other bullshit topic. I mean, in all honesty, why are we still complaining about fucking marijuana? Like, no. We need to drop the stupid ass topics in the government in this judicial in this judicial system okay it's bullshit in the end the drug war we need to kick out the illegals and we need to stop ISIS that needs to be our three top priorities if I can let the pothead smoke for Christ's sake I don't care Alright, if somebody wants to get high, let them fucking get high. As long as they ain't hurting nobody, I have no quarrels, no issues, no problems. I will never diss on a pot smoker. Simply because when you're smoking weed, you feel good. Okay? Okay. I mean, I mean, I've known for a very long time that I'm a consumer of that substance and he hasn't really given, given a shit so there's nothing to give a shit pot doesn't make you I mean pot makes you do some stupid shit like buy a hundred bucks worth of chips in one sitting but other than that I mean yeah the only thing I don't like about it is I'll do it and then my joints will get really bad and I'll drive to Walmart and I'll spend like 200 bucks on food and then wake up in the morning and wonder why I spent $200 on chips and barbecue sauce. Exactly. That's about the stupidest thing a pothead has ever done. Weed really doesn't affect your driving. I don't condone driving high, though. But, uh, weed really doesn't affect the driving capabilities of somebody, but you shouldn't really drive high if you're not experienced. And, Furthermore, I mean, if the only two stupid things is that they're driving really fucking slow, shut up and stop playing guitar. If they're driving really slow and fucking, shut up and stop playing guitar. And only buying $200, $200 worth of fucking chips. There's no issue there. What, like, seriously, why are people sitting in jail for that? Really? They're stimulating, they're, they're stimulating the economy. They're buying 200 bucks worth of chips. Stopping out the chip companies, fucking lays praise on pop on fucking potheads. You know this for a fact. Pringles does too. So don't Doritos. Like fucking all these companies depend on pot smokers. Cause pot smokers are just about the only people that blow more than ten bucks on chips. At once. Yeah. Like I mean, what I buy. A thing of Pringles for my dip cans when I have to put them away. That's really it. Does it does a dip can fit inside a Pringles thing? Say. Can you see? No, your camera's off. Oh. Shit. Yeah, dude, I got like a shit ton of these with cans in them. Oh! Oh, by the way, guys. Um, one box, two boxes, three small Pringle cans, one uh, big Pringle can, and uh, you can't kind of really see them too well, but two bags worth of dip cans. Um, those are all of my dip cans. And, uh,. I'm moving, 
so uh, the dip tower is kind of packed away right now all the mud jugs are packed so that's kind of why I'm uh, using a spit bottle yeah so I can't so we've done terrorism and how political correctness is terrorism we've done Alex doing shots a new rap from me uh, we've talked about the drug war and all this other shit so uh, this video is random topics um, if you guys want more of these or you want to see more of my rap videos or Alex doing shots let us know um, see you on the dip side I'm Axel I'm Alex see y'all later